one thing to note if you're going to do winter van life bring plenty of window cleaner because your windows will get absolutely filthy another top tip is maybe clean them in the afternoon because your window cleaner will freeze Good morning folks then, welcome back and we are back in France. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. We've left the mountains of Switzerland and we've come into France and we've come down the mountain a bit. So we're at about 600, 700 meters at the minute. So it's still fresh, it's about minus seven, minus eight this morning. So not too bad a darn sight warmer than where we were and we've actually come to a park up that we stayed at before so we are near Chambéry about an hour and a half from Mont Blanc and Chamonix which is where we intend to go when there's finally some fresh snow we're still on old snow stupid idea the tanks are still frozen as you can see so we are using the old jerry can today I broke the lid on it as well Louise wasn't very impressed we have had a super busy couple of weeks and it's been absolute chaos. So today we're gonna to have a nice lazy day and that means coffee and croissants, which obviously my absolute fave. I have made Louise bring me to one of my most favorite park ups and we first came here when we first started traveling and some of you who have been around the longest will remember this park up. You've got an absolutely lovely lake and a walk and stuff that way and it's got like little ducks and all this morning there was all like mist and stuff over the lake and it's absolutely so pretty. What are you doing? I can't get in. Everything's frozen. The doors keep freezing. My window cleaner's frozen. I'm trying to tell them where we are. France. We're in France. I think I said we're in France. No, about the park, about the lovely lake, and then that way there's a gorgeous waterfall that hopefully we will take you to later. But... We will. I just need to defrost it. It keeps freezing in the little pipe so I can't clean the, the windows. And we're blaming the dirt on all the like the grit and the winter van life issues, but they're filthy on the inside, so I need to do the insides. Yeah. <laughs> We wasn't very good at that, was we? But, no. Right, yeah. breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Many of you may remember that Emily loves a pan au chocolat, although she's decreed that there's not enough chocolate supplied in pan au chocolat. So we now buy croissants and add our own chocolate. And you're doing something really weird with yours today, aren't you? I am having peanut butter and chocolate spread. So Louise introduced me to this on toast and I absolutely loved it. It's like a Snickers bar. Yeah, on toast, not really <laughs> croissant. Yeah, well you've got to try these things. So I'm up in my croissant game this week and uh, I'm testing it out. I've been your heart attack risk level more like. Uh, no, peanuts are good for your moderation. <laughs> We're trying to film these videos without the diesel heater on, so it's not annoying for you, but it is way too cold, isn't it? Way too cold. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to hear the diesel heater. So for the next few videos, you will hear, hear a low rumble throughout the whole background noise, but, you know, it's just tough. It is what it is. Minus seven, minus eight. We need to be warm and fed, apparently. We do, and now it's croissant time. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good. I need some more chocolate. <laughs> You've over savoured it with the peanuts, have you? I have. I've over savoured it with the peanuts, but good effort for the first try, you know. It's hot. Don't think he's worked out. It's frozen. I know. He keeps trying to drink it. Bless him. Over and smash the camera. Well, I'm pretty sure last time we did this hike you went off and left me as well and here you're do, doing it again so now I'm having to run 
across oh, ice. Hardly running. Now I know that for the duration of this trip so far, I've done nothing but whinge about the sheer lack of snow. Now this should really also be covered in snow, but the huge advantage to that is we can get to these more remote park ups and come on some of these hikes, which would otherwise be inaccessible or you'd need special like equipment, which we don't have. So it is, it is a bonus. And also there's not really anyone else here. So we've got it all to ourselves. And yes, it's cold, but once you get moving, it's not actually that bad, is it? No, it's not too bad. And this is a really nice hike as well. So it's just lovely in the forest, listen to the water. Oh, it's good for our lazy day. Emily, she's supposed to be getting some fun facts, but she's opted to do a selfie instead, so that's what you're getting. This is a Cascade the Pissot. <laughs> the Cascade, Cascade the Pissot. Oh, I can't, I can't. This is Cascade. This is Cascade. What's it? Cascade? 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 This is Cascade. <laughs> Don't laugh, no, it's good to make you. This is Cascade de Pisso. No fucking hell. This is Cascade de Pisso and Fun Facts is having a day off. So all I've got for you is it's a half hour walk from the car park and it's lovely. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> AJ is very pleased with a stick that he retrieved from the waterfall, so that's going to keep him busy for the afternoon. Another reason we chose to come here and just chill out for a couple of days is mostly so summer could get out. So it is very sunny in the afternoons and the temperature today is getting up to about nine. So it's quite drastic changes, like minus 10 at night up to like nine in the afternoon. But it does mean she wants to get out of the van. I'm just on dog watch though, because she's gone around the other side and he is quite busy with dog walkers. So we have to be very cautious on that. So she's going to do a bit of exploring now and then probably again a little bit later on when everyone's gone. Me. Look at them all, life and Riley. They just want the stroke. AJ's knackered from his walk. Summer is quite clever. If a dog's coming, she can usually hear it and she senses it and she'll go and sit on the edge of the van or up on the, the table looking out until it's gone and then she'll come back out. So she's got it sussed. If you've noticed these in shot, our bikinis, we're not lying to you, we're not in southern Spain. It's because <laughs> we went to a public pool yesterday so that we could have a shower. A shower and a hair wash and it was lovely. The car park has got a bit busier for this afternoon and we're not the only ones cooking in the car park. Another couple just came in a van and there's a car behind us. So it's been a bit noisy, but it's nice that in France people do this, right? I used to fall apart. Emily's just in the van preparing the veg to go with it. Fruit, veg, tomato, fruit or veg? Fruit, fruit, I think it's fruit. It's a veg, it's a veg. Let me know in the comments. Come and go in shady places. as well. Being Hello. posh, well posh today. Treating your How's it going? Yeah, mine are nearly done and then yours will be next. I have to cook everything twice because obviously Emmy has veggie burgers and I have regular burgers, but it's nice to eat out to be outside. Oh it is and Emmy. Emmy. Who's, who's Emmy? Emmy. Emmy. I'm going with Emmy now. <laughs> Buns are too big. Nah, be <laughs> alright. You're filling all up. Look at your cheese list tomorrow. Posh and I. Yeah, life living in a car park. <laughs> There's cars. 
Can I get my burgers on the mungry? <laughs> We're about to move back inside. The car park is now packed, which is really weird, but it's got too cold. As soon as that sun drops, that's it. It's like it went from 12 degrees to freezing instantly. But it is really, really weird being back here. We worked out it was about two and a half years ago, I think we was here last. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And we would have had, I don't know how many subscribers we would have had, but it would have been less than 7,000. We've now got 70,000, which for a small UK crazy. channel. Crazy, yeah, absolutely crazy. Absolutely mind blowing. And it is not lost on us how integral you lot are to to us being able to still be doing this two and a half years on because to be honest we had no idea back then the first time around did we oh god definitely not and it's just it's been a crazy whirlwind couple of years as well isn't it it's been absolutely amazing and to have all you new and old people coming along with us is it's just great yeah and to still be able to enjoy making the videos and enjoy the travel and still get a huge buzz from doing it is a is a it's just it's just huge for us isn't it it really is yeah so thank you very much and if you aren't subscribed and you've watched a few videos already hit the thingy because when we get to 100k that is it i am definitely <laughs> definitely cutting us off and just one more thing for the continuity police because i know you're out there yes we've changed our clothes it's purely because we knew we was going to be having a fire and we had clean clothes on this morning so we've got dirty clothes out of the wash basket because we don't want stinky mm -mm. when you live in a van you have to be very careful with your usage of clothes to make them last because you can't bring too much with you no, and apparently you're not allowed to go to laundrettes all the time. No, you're not allowed to go to laundrettes all the time because it's bloody boring. It's movie night. How do I do it again? You need to turn on the VPN. We have been using NordVPN longer than we've been traveling in this van and we use it for many reasons. One, because it's so easy. So as you can see now, Emily is just logging in, she selects a country and then if you don't know, a VPN masks your IP address so it looks like we're in that country. Now this is great because it protects us online but it's even better because it means we can access streaming catalogs from all over the world, meaning when we go on Netflix and things like that, we can watch a huge array of different films that we wouldn't otherwise have access to. Tell them about the threat protection feature. Oh yeah, that's really good. So even if you aren't connected to a VPN, you can have that turned on in your settings and it stops intrusive tracking, blocks malware and avoids malicious ads. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you snacks! Going? We're doing the, the sponsored bit. You can't just wander off for snacks. Yeah, you can. You can use it on up to six devices. So Emily's got it on both her phones. I've got it on my phone. We've got it on the tablet. We've got it on both our laptops. Now this is particularly good for us because we quite often have to hook up to public Wi-Fi when we're out and about to check in on work and whatnot. So it means we're always safe online. And if you want to give NordVPN a go, Louise will tell you what to do. <laughs> go to nordvpn.com forward slash camper vibe and you can get yourself the two year plan with an exclusive deal and a bonus gift on top it's risk-free with nordvpn's 30 day money back guarantee now you're going to share the snacks or what no you've had your one look at the stars <laughs> so cheeky Obviously this is not AJ, but Emily's found him on her walk out this morning. Who are you? Eh? Who are you? You're cutie pie. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, he wants to eat the camera. He's not a vlog dog, is he? He's not a YouTube he's, dog. Yeah, he's not a YouTube dog, but he's very cute and he was playing with AJ this morning and then just followed us back to the van, so I kind of knew he he was missing. <laughs> Summer's not impressed, obviously she wants to go out but she can't and the poor dog just wants to come inside. AJ wants to play with him again but we can't let him in just because dog, cat, small confined space, we don't know how they're going to be together so it's not worth the risk. His mum is on the way, she should be here soon. It is every dog or pet owner's worst nightmare is losing their dog but they're going to be reunited so it's a happy ending. The dog won't listen though and I don't know if it's because it's just a naughty dog or if it's because um, we don't speak French and it only understands French commands. This is a serious amount of iceage on the windscreen and this is a daily occurrence up here. Look at that.
We are finally on the road. Obviously we got held up with a dog and then just as we was about to leave, Emily's work kicked off. So there were Zoom meetings and phone calls and all sorts, but we're finally off to find another cool car park. Essentially I've decided that's all van life is. You just drive around finding different cool car parks to live in. You got the Water's finding its way in now through every single crack in Fanny. Look, it's dripping through here. That's not rain or snow, that's condensation, I believe. Unusually for France, there was no bins at that last park up, so we've got all our rubbish, all everyone's rubbish. I've locked Emily out. Emily is still caught up with work, so I'll quickly show you tonight's park up of choice. Uh, we've come down to Lake Annecy, now I need to let you in on a secret, we've actually been here before as well. We didn't film it in a video, we might have mentioned it, but we certainly didn't film it because I remember we drove in, couldn't find anyone to, anywhere to park, it was absolutely ram-packed, so we turned around and drove straight back out, but this time round, looks like it might be a bit better. The car park we're staying in is obviously very, very, very popular with vans, and that is because you can stay here legitimately, it's all set up for it. I'll show you why in a second, but last time we came in, we came in, I think it was September, and it was just too difficult, but now, in February, it's looking like out of season is the time to come. Yes, it's cold, but, Still pretty. From the 1st of April to the 31st of October, motorhomes and caravans, camper vans cannot stay in this car park. But outside of those times, you can. Also, it is completely free of charge. So you only have to pay for this car park between Ju well, in June and August, and the rest of the time, it's free for everyone. So outside of those months, you can stay here in a motorhome completely free. And as you've seen, people quite clearly do. It's pretty cool really, it's got quite a van lifey atmosphere going on, there's dogs all over the place, people all over the place outside having a chat and we've arrived at around about lunchtime so you can see and hear everyone cooking their lunch so it has got that bit of a, I don't normally like a busy car park but this one with the view which I'll show in a second is pretty decent. Look, she's still working. Proper interrupts with my adventure time, this does. Lake Annecy is actually a pretty big lake. You can drive all the way around it, and I'm pretty sure if you did, you'd find some nice isolated spots, maybe. We've come to the busy north side purely because we need a big town. We need to do some shopping, get a couple of bits, and apparently the old town here is quite nice, but we'll let you know. Bye. Finished, have we? Yes, done. Can we go and explore now? We can go and explore now. <laughs> If you like hustle and bustle, a little bit of atmosphere, loads of restaurants, a bit of shopping, and to get out of the mountains, then this is your place. It is busy. <laughs> Ice cream shop. That's what she's actually interested in. Nothing to do with the architecture or the pretty colours. It's the ice cream. Too right. Uh, Did you want to know if I wanted one? Did you want one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Do you want one? No, it's fine. It would just have been nicer than ours. <laughs> you don't normally have it. Do you want it one? <laughs> you get a free scoop of the top. <laughs> <Can> I see. <laughs> we have cookies, Nutella, and coffee. I'm 
not going to lie, Lake Annecy's nice, the lake's nice, but there's much nicer lakes in the middle of nowhere. But the old town's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's super pretty. The buildings are lovely and the ice cream was good. I can confirm that the cookies <laughs> and cream was the best one, but three scoops was three too many, but one was a free scoop. Three too many? Three scoops was three too many? Oh, three scoops was one too many. It was one too many. One Two too scoops many. would have been enough. Yes. Um, as nice as it is, though, we can't find what we've come for, which is a blanket, because we've decided to do winter van life without a blanket. Yep. And some trainers for me, running trainers. Stay tuned on that, folks. <laughs> Louise, Louise. What? 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 Look. I have found the biggest pan au chocolat. Look at it. That is a big pan of chocolate. It is, isn't it? Have you look at the size of the croissants. I know, it's massive. Shame I'm full. Well, maybe get yourself one for breakfast tomorrow. You see the size of it? That is not just for my breakfast, that's for like a feed of family of four. <laughs> get one and we'll see how long it lasts you. <laughs> Shut up. This is the medieval old town of Annecy. The lake is named, no. <sighs> This is the medieval old town of Annecy. The lake itself is named after the town. It is the third largest lake in Europe, excluding the French part of Geneva, which we showed you the other day. And it's also known as the cleanest lake in Europe. And I think I got that right messing it up. And she's back in the game, folks. Fun <sighs> facts are back on the channel. Back on track, back on track. I had a moment there, guys, but you know, I've got your back, I've got your back. Later. Dinner time. One of the disadvantages of living in a car park is obviously as many people can congregate outside your kitchen window and have a conversation for as long as they like. And the French do tend to do that. Now, because we're in a busy, we're right near the city, so it's a busy urban area. There's a lot of people about. What's cool about France, especially the older generation, they tend to meet up of a nighttime and go and play balls, which I think is really cool. You see it all the time, all over France, just in car parks and on the beach. And obviously near the lake, it's quite popular, but we are having dinner. We've just realized as well, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> so our romantic meal for Valentine's Day is going to be egg and beans on toast and then we didn't get any, each other any presents so Emily's got a new blanket and I've got new trainers. Uh, we've got a little bit more than that. I do love a shopping haul. Look at our swanky new blanket. Look. Oh, it just feels so soft. You just can't... I hope you can see how soft this actually is because it's, it's lovely. I got a new water bottle. Love it. How cute is that? Louise is apparently running trainers. We'll see how many times she does that. Oh, uh, you got some vans as well? Yes. Now, these bad boys. Oh, yeah, you didn't know I got these. This is a Valentine's present from Louise to me. Look at these. Bad boys. They're nice, right? Now, some of you might look at this and think it's a bit sad having egg and beans on toast in a car park, living in a van for Valentine's Day. But I suppose it's your outlook on life. The way I see it is we're having egg and beans on toast because we're shattered because we've been out adventuring all afternoon. And, well, yes, we're in a car park, but look at the car park we're in. We're right on Lake Annecy. It's really, really pretty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And who wouldn't want this dinner of champions? Do With you? my ideal woman and exactly. everything. Exactly. There you go, a bit of cheese for Valentine's Day for you. <laughs> Okay. Have Tommy K on egg and beans on toast. Perfect date night dinner this is. Egg and beans on toast is actually one of my favourites and we don't get it very often, do we? No, we don't actually. And I don't know why, because it's such a quick and easy dinner for me, so I should go vote for it more often, to be fair. Yeah, it's a runny egg. I never get a runny egg. Emily's whinging at me because I'm in the way of her trying to eat her dinner. Right. We are going to eat this and then I reckon this place is going to look even better at night. So we're going to take AJ and we're going to take you and we're going to go for a little explore after we've eaten. Ah, oh, spilt a bean. She spilt a bean. Don't talk about beans. But get You're out. You're asking for trouble if you get start out. talking about beans. And <laughs> see you in a bit. That without my love for the ocean Unicyclists, how cool were they? I'd love to see you on one of them. I'd give that a go, would you give that a go? Yeah, how yeah, I'd give that a go. If anyone's got a unicycle in the comments, <laughs> let us know. We'd love to give unicycling a go. Is there like training wheels or something? A unicycle like, with stabilizers? Closes, yeah. There'll just be three wheels in a row. <laughs> yeah, but surely that's gonna help, right? Sure. <laughs> it's all right. Breaking in my new shoes. 
Oh we'll be out with these runners in the morning. I can't wait to see yep. that. Yep. That's going to be me. Just like that. Cruising along. Cruising, you reckon? I'm going for a K, 1K. Okay. You can do it, I have faith. There's a boardwalk here that runs around the edge. It's really cool, isn't it? It is, and it's quite pretty as well. Like, you forget about the road because you've got all the lovely lights and the city and everything to look out on, and the lake is pretty. Yeah, it's not tranquil, but it's definitely pretty. I very much doubt my camera's doing it any kind of justice whatsoever, but I'm doing my best. We're going to sign off for the night, though, aren't we? We are, yes. Yeah, going to carry on our walk with Roost and then, yeah, chill out. And how romantic's this for Valentine's Day? Right, Roost is going in the edge. Right, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning folks, it is a sunny yet busy day here in the car park again and we're on the move. We're going to find a laundrette and loads of boring rubbish stuff that Emily really enjoys. <laughs> I like all that stuff, it's nice. Thank you so much for joining us on this nostalgic journey for us. It has been really cool and it to revisit the places we came when we very, very, very first started. I've got absolutely no idea how we've ended up here, but we have. We have, it's been an absolutely crazy few years, hasn't it? And I hope there is a few more crazy years to come as well. Yeah, so again, thank you very much. And if you want to see us parking and living in car parks for the next few years, then please do subscribe, give us the thumbs up, ding the what's it? Ding the bell. Ding the bell and we'll see you on the next one because we are off for some proper mountain adventure. Woo!